few people that wanted to get an updated review of the Hustler mower. So I um, just did some maintenance on them. Today it was, uh, what's today? Today's January 8th. Um, my daughter's birthday was yesterday the 7th. <clears throat> it's, um, 20, it was 24 degrees here down in Florida this morning. So I figured it was a good day to jump in since we weren't going to be doing any work. It is Sunday anyways. Um, we were going to, uh, anyway, I just wanted to do some maintenance on it. So change some oil, sharpen blades. I need some new tires um, on the uh, on the 54. Brooke, watch that right there. There's my daughter, Brooke. Hey, sweetie. Um, watch the bombs, honey, on the floor. We have, uh, you know, I think you guys saw that video I put up when we got them a Golden Doodle. Uh, Rex and he's just gotten really big man. So um, Anyway, let's just jump to it. Um, I've had these for over a year now. I've got um, I've got about 400 to 500 hours on the 54 and I still only have 65 hours on the 36 um, You know because I mainly do you know bigger yards and, and we rarely have to use the 36 um, Sorry for the sniffles. It's cold out here but um, let me just go ahead and jump over here to the Trim Star. Um, it's been an absolutely great machine. Sorry about the shadow. Um, it's been a really, really good machine. Um, you know, and whenever I brought up the whole point about, um, you know, raising and lowering the deck and quarter inch increments after uh, my dumb butt didn't even, you know, notice or read that it's clearly labeled on the, you know, on the decking system to flip the pin around. Um, you know, I'd read some of y'all's comments, hey, flip the print around. I was like, no crap. And then I noticed it's, um, so listen, I'm going to save you guys some uh, embarrassing, dumb moments on YouTube. So if you buy these trim stars, um, there is the pin right here. It's actually decks down right now, but there's a pin right here. There is a flat side, and then there is the rod welded to the back side. Now, you punch it this way, there's a quarter of an inch difference. Um, you get quarter of an inch lower. If you uh, put the plate or if you put the plate up, um, you know, there's a quarter of an inch difference versus if you do it this way. So plate down, um, you know, you gain a quarter of an inch. Um, so anyways, I just um, really, really felt stupid after that. So um, anyways, on the trim star, um, you know, I did have some issues in the beginning because um, normally this is on the outside of the bar. Um, that comes up and I reversed it and put it on the inside and that actually because it was kicked out about three more inches this way about two to three more inches with it being reversed um, and then I noticed that it was uh, it was an issue it was hitting things so this has worked out for me I was going to do some more fabbing to it but um, I haven't needed to but I would strongly recommend that you guys take the deck lowering bar and you drop it on the inside um, it'll save you it'll save you some time um, everything's been amazing on the machine. Um, I still love the machine. I've definitely gotten used to, you know, the zero turning on it. Um, you know, that did take a minute. Um, you know, it took a minute for me and pretty much all of my guys. And we're all pretty versed when it comes to machines. And, you know, that still took a minute for everybody. Um, so there's really not much I can say um, about the Trim Star that I didn't say in the original video. Um, the motor has just been phenomenal. It's been a strong machine. The only thing that I still wish that uh, that they did was Make the machine faster off the line and I know that there's ways to make it faster. I've been reading up I just haven't done it um, But I think that I'm about to um, you know do some adjusting back there to make it faster um, You know the caster system the weight uh, the way it handles the way it mows it cuts um, I've been really really happy with it um, you know, we've had a lot of rain this year down here, hurricane, all that stuff coming through Florida. Um, this thing did its job when it needed to. Um, I mean, I've loaded logs and everything when we cut down trees, towed and pulled it. The paint holds up pretty awesome on the machines considering I wash them about every two or three months. Um, and you know, this, this seems to hold up really good. Um, but again, I, I'm really happy with the machine. I, um, I wouldn't buy another one just because they got the, you know, the um, S standard now. So the next 36 that I buy is going to be the standard that Hustler came that Hustler came out with. I wish they had it before I bought the Trim Star uh, because I would have bought that instead. But I do like the Trim Star. I also acquired another, um, you know, 54 inch Trim Star um, walk behind that um, I'm going to be using. 
I'll uh, do another video on that. Um, keep let you guys know what's going on. Picked up a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of property. So um, hold on a second. Hey, sorry about the cutout. My neighbors wanted to talk to me. Um, so anyway, I've got my little uh, model brook over here on the 54. Now I do have a few things to say about the 54. Um, the one thing that I have come to loathe about the design of the deck is is more the pulley. I cannot stand this. Let me see if I can get in there. All right, you see this spring that's notched and locked right here? That spring, see in there? The belt comes around from the PTO back there. And when you bump around in all of that, that spring, no matter how freaking tight you have it right here, pops off. The first time it happened, I did not I did not realize what had happened. Oh, there's my oil cap. Let me grab that. I'm gonna just change the oil. I was like, where'd the oil cap go? There we go. Um, so anyways, um, it, I, I hate it and I can't stand you hustler for doing this and when the guys you know when the guys have called me and they're like dude the, the blades won't come on like the deck won't come on I'm just like oh god I've had to explain to him how to get it back on I've just never I mean just look that's a hor horrible I mean horrible design horrible design guys horrible I didn't know anything about this when I bought it um, it wouldn't change the fact of me buying it again because I buy it all over again I just wish I knew about it but I can't stand it I hate that stupid setup. I hate it. Um, Cause I do properties that like we all do and they're bouncy and it just, it never fails that eventually, and it's not all the time, it's popped off about six times in the last year. And I know that sounds like tedious complaining about it, but man, it's a pain in the butt, dude. And then if like it falls off, this piece comes unhooked and comes off the chain and then I have to go find it somewhere. I, I can't stand that. I hate it, man, I hate it. All right, so as far as negative, you know points a year a little over a year later on the 54 inch x1 that's the only complaint that i have i did change out the casters and i went to express mower and changed them out for some uh, you know some no flats and they did not fit properly i'm about to get the spring loaded ones on here i'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet spend the 260 bucks and get the springs um, put on the front um, but it has held up exceptionally well um, it gets really good gas, you know, I, I mow, a, I can mow a 30 acre property with this thing um, all day long. Um, it takes about, it'll take about six hours, six to seven hours almost, maybe about, I don't know, probably about six straight hours of mowing, um, you know, it'll go through both of those tanks. Um, but that's, you know, mowing full speed, um, you know, embankments and all that. That light busted, my guys did a, a zero turn and busted that up because um, I usually run some lights back there. But I didn't replace it because I'm actually going to go ahead and hardwire it into the switch so it comes off and on. Um, but there's no complaints, man, otherwise. Um, you can see all the wheels are still in amazing shape, you know, around the back. Um, all the deck wheels, I've never, I can tell you this, I'll tell you this right now, Gravely, Xmark, um, Toro, a year and a few months later, a year and a couple months later, the same caster, the same wheel, same, you know, scalping deck wheels um, are still on here, still in, intact and still in killer shape. And that's with numerous different guys using the mower. Um, the wheels have not come off. They're not loose. They don't wobble. Nothing. Hustler's got everybody beat when it comes to that. That's for sure. I mean, among a bunch of other things. But um, again, man, I, we use this this year for, I mean, logs that were, you know, and diameter is rolling up into the seat. Um, the, the mower holds up well. It's definitely a, a beast machine. I don't regret buying it at all. Um, I'm probably, I'm gonna go through this 54 um, that I got used, 800, 700 hours or something like that. Um, it runs good, but once that takes a dive, um, I'm gonna get a Super Z, a 60 inch Super Z next. Um, and then the Super S um, 36 inch, that'll be the next setup. Um, so I'll get in, I'll do another video that'll let you guys know what's going on. And, um, we're definitely starting another truck, which I'm excited about. Um, we're starting that in uh, February. So, uh, but anyway, um, the hydraulics, everything's been good. Brooks, the mower been good, honey? Yes. Yes. You've been driving it? Yes. Yep. Is it working out? Yes. Why are you so gorgeous? I don't know. You're supposed to say, cause he, I got your face, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's waiting for me to hurry up so we can go drive and ride this thing because they know how to operate these. I sit down and they ride with me. We go around the neighborhood. It's cold though. It's only about 25 degrees out here right now. I don't care. It's cold. I know you don't care. So anyway, um, I don't need to make this a really long thing. Um, uh, you know, I've watched this thing a million times and I, and I know that this may be cheesy, but I love the fact that that sticker um, has not budged and it stays on there. That's my favorite part of the whole mower is that sticker right there. Um, made in the USA. Um, made in America, baby. Um, so anyways, it's time for some tires. These tires are shot. Um, I do not buy tires from the mower, you know, mower stores or anything like that. My brothers all work at either Pet Boys or Tire Kingdom. So um, they're your uncles, dork. Um, so I get the tires for much, much, much cheaper, like 56 bucks a piece instead of 100 or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna get those put on later today or tomorrow. Um, so anyways, um, it's held up, man. It's been a great machine. I have noticed a little leveling issue. Um, one side, um, I could tell it may have been a quarter of an inch. I got, I just, I can't help, like I have an eye like that and I, and I noticed it, but it was pretty easy to adjust. Um, I mean, that's natural. This thing bounces around a lot on some of these properties. So the adjustments is gonna tweak out here and there. Um, but as far as uh, you know, the bouncing around again, that pulley system that they have, I loathe it. I hate it. Keep an eye out for it because um, if you buy one of these and you've never had one, and you're driving, and all of a sudden um, you notice your deck shuts off, uh, nothing's wrong. Um, just the pulley bounced off, and that spring came out. Um, pull it extra tight. One thing I am, another thing I'm actually really impressed on both of these machines is never in 11 years going on, you know, going on 12 years, have I ever had um, mowers um, that have not had belts, deck belts, tear up. Um, these are the original belts um, and they've lasted um, this entire time. They've not come off. Um, so maybe it is because of that pain in the butt system that they got, but I still hate it. Um, but I'm impressed with the, the original deck belts are still on this mower. Um, and we're busy every day cutting. Um, but it's been, it's been great. Um, the seat still holds up really well. The spring system in the seat is really good. Um, it's like, you know, it hasn't, it just hasn't. Brooke, what in the, you're distracting me. What in the world are you doing? You cold? You turning into a turtle? I don't need to see your little wishy tushy on the internet. Come on now. I don't even let them wear bathing suits or bikinis or whatever. Anyway, I'm conservative, Dad. I'm going to be as long as I have to be. So, anyways, um, there's nothing much else to say. I'm going to hush now. I'm going to take her on a ride. Um, if you're looking to buy one, buy it. Here comes a plane. Um, Sorry guys, let that go by. Um, anyway, if you're looking to buy uh, buy the mowers a year, over a year later, um, I stand 100% behind buying it. Um, I don't regret a second of it. Um, I may have actually bought the Super Z instead of the 54 had I known how much work I was gonna pick up just in just in the last eight months alone. It's, it's literally like a lucky miracle that I've gone um, where I've gone just in the last eight months. Um, but no big deal, 54 I still think is perfect for residential stuff in, in Jacksonville where we're at. Um, and then a 60 is something eventually I'm gonna graduate to for the condos um, because we're doing a few of those now. Um, but anyway guys, I'll get you some more uh, some more action videos coming up here. Um, and I'll uh, you know do another thing, let you guys know what's going on as far as um, you know where the business and company's gone. Um, but man, I, I still love these. You know, that, that new mower nostalgia has not worn off and it's been over a year and I've never had that before. Anytime I sit on these and I'm mowing, um, I still feel like I recently got the mowers and uh, they're strong, man. So uh, hustler all the way. Peace out. Say bye, Brooke.